Hey, what's up? I'm Technologics, and today we're going to be looking at the best features coming with iOS 10.3. So I'm currently running iOS 10.3 Beta 5 on this iPod Touch 6th generation, and on my iPhone 6 I'm running iOS 10.2.1. Now the reason I'm doing this video before iOS 10.3 has a final release is because it's probably going to be coming within, I would think, with I, I, this week or next week. Uh, from what I can see I've experienced very little bugs, it seems to be pretty much perfected, and this is the fifth beta, it'll probably be ready to download very soon. That's at this point they're not going to change anything so what I'm saying here will definitely apply when iOS 10.3 actually comes out. But anyway, let's get right into this. First thing uh, with the device that I'm going to mention here is find my AirPods. Now this is something that I don't, I can't show you because I don't have AirPods, but essentially it's kind of a cool feature. Uh, it's like find my iPhone except with your AirPods. So you hit find my AirPods and it'll do like uh, the AirPods will make a beeping sound or something like that. Basically it'll make it so it's easier to find because they're pretty small. I'm sure it would be very easy to lose them somewhere. So yeah, fairly simple thing, but uh, something that I think will be very welcome for a lot of people. Here's a little minor thing. When you go into the keyboard, they actually inverted the emoji logo thing for the key for the emoji keyboard. So if you look, it's uh, it's darker. It used to be, or it's, it's white now. It's like it's filled in. The other one, it wasn't. So I don't know why they changed it, but I don't see, I don't think it's a big deal, but I guess that's kind of cool. I don't know. Just kind of interesting. Siri now shows cricket scores, which uh, I guess I know there's a big fan base for cricket. I know absolutely nothing about it, but if you do watch cricket, if you're interested in that, then they show cricket now. So that's, I guess that's kind of cool. You can see on my iPhone 6 when I ask, she has no idea what to do. If you go into your phone and without updating an app, you see the app icon change. That is not necessarily because of an update that happened in the background or anything. That is because iOS 10.3 comes with a new dynamic app changing feature. So it's pretty cool. If you see your app icons change, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Another cool thing with developers is on the app store, if you write a negative review or whatever, or any review, developers can actually reply to those reviews now, which is really cool because if you have a problem with it and it's an easy fix, the developer might be able to help you through it and then you can, you know, give them a higher rating. So that's something really, it's, it's something that should have been there but wasn't and now it is. So that's great. Uh, there are little UI changes. It's really hard to tell, but when closing apps in iOS 10.3, you will get rounded edges. It's actually actually quite nice that the animation kind of fits the icon itself so it kind of it looks nice it's so it's really minor but it feels nice it feels good and probably my favorite fix or yeah I, I don't know if it's a fix or not but there's this weird UI thing where if you tap on the folder and then you tap out quickly everything is pixelated behind it it looks really awful and so they've actually changed that so now it's actually blurred when you do that and it looks way better so for me I noticed that a while back when iOS 10 came out and I was like what the heck is this this is really annoying so I'm really glad that was fixed there's a redesigned settings page with a new profile section so I've blurred out I'm not gonna show too much of it because I have all my personal information on there that I don't want to show off but I, I blocked out my name and stuff but um, essentially with this you can see a little more depth of what's taking up iCloud storage you can see all your devices on there and it's kind of cool but it's you know it's, it's another minor improvement that will just be nice to have. There's been this, well, it's not really a significant map app change, but um, there's there's a couple things. A, I don't show on here because I forgot about it, but if you, if you search a city or an area, you'll see a little weather icon in the bottom right with the current temperature, so that's kind of cool. The big thing for me was that it's sometimes fun to play around with if you zoom out on the map in satellite mode you can see the whole earth they got rid of that for some reason I don't know why you can see me comparing the two here uh, I find that a little annoying because I thought it was kind of cool but um, yeah they got rid of it so yeah I have no idea why they did that if you frequently listen to podcasts, then you're going to love this because the podcast app now has its own widget. So if you swipe to the left, you can add the podcast widget and it'll show you recently played, I believe. And uh, yeah, it's just kind of cool. There are lots of bug fixes. Uh, this goes with pretty much any iOS version. Uh, iOS 10.2.1 was a big one because it made it so you couldn't jailbreak anymore. iOS 10.3 is going to bring lots of bug fixes to the table, such as, uh, I don't know if you know what it is, but there's a there was a weird UI issue where you can make the dock disappear and a couple other things. 
things. The infamous bug where you could freeze someone's phone just by sending a message is also gone. Now they're used, this is a little hard to explain, but now they're using a new file system, so I don't know how to explain this really simply. So I'm just gonna basically say it should increase performance, so you, you'll notice it feels a lot faster when you use it. It also takes up less space, so I only got a couple hundred megabytes, but it does feel faster, so I think this is really gonna help the performance on the iPhone 5 and 5C. I think it's gonna feel a lot smoother. When iOS 10.3 officially comes out, I'd like to do a review on the iPhone 5 slash 5C, so <laughs> stay tuned for that. But in the end, the question is, should you upgrade? And my answer is, I don't see why not. Uh, this is beta 5, and I'm experiencing like no bugs here, so I think that it's it's probably gonna be okay. It, it brings quite a few minor things to the table that I think are gonna be really just convenient to have. There's an actual performance increase, uh, which we haven't had for a little while now, so it's it's pretty fast. The only reason I wouldn't upgrade is if you're looking to jailbreak and maybe you're on iOS 10.2.1 or you're on iOS 10.2. If you're on iOS 10.2, you can jailbreak right now or below, but if you're on iOS 10.2.1, as you probably already know, you cannot jailbreak. So if you want to jailbreak, I would not update just in case they do come out with a uh, jailbreak for iOS 10.2.1. You never know, it could happen. So I would wait on updating if you're looking for a jailbreak, but other than that, uh, there's no reason not to. It seems like a very good piece of software, and so, yeah. So that's basically the best features of iOS 10.3, or the most, uh, not the best necessarily, I didn't like the map one, the most important features of iOS 10.3. There's a few other things with the Apple Watch, or theater mode, there's uh, car and some new CarPlay updates, and a couple things like that, but I don't have an Apple Watch, I don't have CarPlay, I don't have any of that, so I can't show it off, and I think most of you probably won't have it either, so yeah. That's it for this video, just wanted to really Really quickly, um, I haven't done a lot of these news videos before, but I just want to kind of tell you what to expect for iOS 10.3. So drop a like if you liked the video. You could dislike the video if you didn't like it. However, just to warn you, more than likely an anvil will fall on your head if you dislike this video. And I know that sounds silly because I know like cartoons do that and stuff, but it is a real thing. And if you dislike this video, it will happen to you. So just don't dislike it. It's really the safe way to go. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you want to see more stuff like this. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you all later.